Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Uh, this video here will be a tutorial on how to replace a cracked screen. Uh, this is the uh, iPad 7 generation. The number here is, or the model number here is A2197. So let's get started. Um, there are a few things you need to pay attention to. So this iPad here is a Touch ID home button, meaning that it senses your thumb or fingerprint. And you need to use and keep the original home button when you replace the screen. Um, if you break it, you would have to get a third party home button, which the Touch ID will not work. You only work on the original home button. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, iPad 7 generation and it has cracked screen here. So I have a new screen that is ready to go. And as you can see, the screen cable uh, is located on the right side of it. Meaning that the screen will be going from left to right. Okay, so you're going to be like this. And when it opens up, you're going to go to your right. And the cable will be connect to the iPad. And same goes for the home button. So the home button would be located, I mean, the cable would be located underneath the iPad screen. Where the home button is going to be on the right side. So when you remove the glass, make sure that um, you pay attention to this area. Do not break the cable. Save the original home button. Okay. There are a few things you need to be prepared. Uh, you need to have a heat gun. If you don't, you can get a hair dryer, a prying tool, tweezer, a adhesive double-sided tape, and of course a safety goggle. Um, the glass is very sharp and very fine when it cracks. So make sure you protect your facial. Uh, get a safety goggle, very important. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, pretty much you need to heat up the iPad for now. You want to make the tape soften, the adhesive tape, then it's easier for you to remove the glass. So if you feel like the tape is still very sticky and you can't get into it, you can always come back and reheat. So as you can see, the tape is right about this much. Okay. So when you stick the prying tool, try not to go all the way deep. You don't have to go all the way that deep. You'll be damaging the LCD. So you just need right about this much. Uh, that's enough to cut through the adhesive tape. Okay, they're very sticky. So always come back and reheat it if you need it. Okay, so as you can see, I'm getting towards to the right side of the iPad where I mentioned earlier, the home button uh, flex cable is right underneath here. So make sure you have enough um, heat to slowly remove the glass, do not break. And do not break the cable. Okay, we are almost there. So, yep, everything looks good so far. And 
while this thing is still warm let me go ahead and remove the home button and as you can see um, the home button bracket they have some sort of uh, adhesive glue on it and if you can see this is the white stuff so later on we will be using um, this adhesive gel and we'll be gluing that home button bracket here Okay, you can push from underneath to remove that home button and at this moment be very gentle and you want to try not to break the cable Okay, so we have the home button, original still in a good condition, and we'll be reusing this um, button on a new screen. And you can go ahead and cut off the, uh, the screen because we'll be using the new screen, as, as you can see, um, the two flex cable right here. So you can go ahead and cut off this one. You're not gonna use the original screen Okay, now you can go ahead and remove the entire piece of it. Okay, so let's put this on the side. If you have any broken glass on the table, go ahead and clean it up first. Okay. And as you see, I still have the original adhesive tape here on the iPad. Go ahead and remove them. All right, so we have that all taken care of. And you wanna come back and do a final, final check. What I'm checking right now is, I just checking and see if there's any uh, broken pieces, uh, the glass that left on the iPad. So if you do see them, go ahead and remove it because um, you do not want to have any uh, pieces that get stuck stuck around the iPad. Uh, the reason is because when you put the, the, the adhesive tape on it, um, it doesn't have a good contact if you have broken glasses all around. So clean it up, make sure you have clean surface all around the iPad. And when you put a new screen back on, um, you would have a good contact to, to, to get stick together. Okay, so mine looks good. So I'm gonna go to the next step. Uh, there are four screws that holds on to the LCD screen. Two on the top, two at the bottom. They are just regular Phillips screwdriver. And the two on the top is hidden underneath 
this black tape so go ahead and remove the black tape Okay, um, at this point, what I wanted to show you is the screen is still somewhat glued onto. Um, if you can see, there's this black gooey stuff, uh, black tape or glue that is still holding the LCD screen. You're gonna come in and scrape it off. Okay, once you get that black gooey stuff removed, then the LCD screen can come out. At this point, um, removing the four screw doesn't remove the LCD screen. So go ahead and, and get a tweezer, something like that to remove this black glue. And if you know the reason why Apple does that, uh, please comment below. I just find it hard to believe that you already have the four screws that screw onto the LCD. And why do you need the black glue that glue the, uh, the LCD still? So I don't get that part, but if you know the reason, please comment below. Okay, I have one side um, ready to go. Let me work on the other side. Okay, and this side is clear. And you have to work on the bottom left and the bottom right as well. Okay, I think that should be it. And as you can see, I can leave my LCD screen. And it's kind of open towards you. So you flip backwards. Okay, so you flip the backwards. Um, not backwards, but towards you. Okay. And there are three screws that holds onto the bracket. Go ahead and remove them. And you get a plastic pry too. Let me pry open the LCD screen. Okay, 
So we're gonna reuse the original screen. Remember the two flex cable that we cut off. So it's easier to just cut off the screen and come back and remove the, uh, the connector after. Okay, that's pretty much it. So we still have the home button here, original home button. We're gonna reuse them again and we're gonna install the new screen. So here's the new screen. Um, the first thing I need to do is to make sure I remove the plastic that is covering inside of the screen. And what I'm doing right now is to tape the um, flex cable onto the LCD. So it's gonna look something something like like this. Just tape it here. Okay. So I have this thing taped onto the screen. I'm trying to remove this plastic. Okay, so we have that going. Now, what I'll be doing next is to get the uh, home button. Trying to make in the center on the screen so at least you guys can take a look. Okay. So I'm gonna remove this for now. At least I can feel the button. Come over here. And that's about the right area for this, okay? So I'm gonna come over the other side. Make sure you feel like the click is looking good. Okay, it looks like this is the right angle. I can feel like the home button is clicking well. 
So like I said, you need to put uh, adhesive gel on it to hold the bracket. So just a little bit, that's enough to hold. You don't have to put a lot. Okay, that's about the right position. I'm just gonna hold on to the bracket. It gets dry very quickly, so just put some pressure on for a few seconds, maybe up to a minute or so, or less. Okay, it's still kind of trying to get dry. Okay, while the thing is drying up, what we can do, we can continue to work on some other stuff here. So come again and try the button. Okay, it looks good, feels good. It's clicking well. So let's this thing dry. It's kind of still too moist. I think I put a bit too much, but okay, it's getting dry now. All right, so go ahead and install the uh, the home button cable. I believe. This is the longest one, it goes here. Okay, they are in place. And then go ahead and install the LCD screen. Okay, they are in place. Oops, you can go ahead and get the bracket back on. And three screws that holds the bracket. Okay, have the screen goes back on here. Go ahead and get the four screws back on to hold the LCD screen.
Okay, so far looking good. So the next step I'll be doing is to install a double-sided adhesive tape. And you just want to go ahead and install all around the, the base of the iPad. We can see it so it make a tape at the bottom here now i'll be working on the top okay before i do the one on the right side let me go ahead and turn on the ipad make sure everything works Okay, the iPad is turning on. Okay, I'm gonna cover up the iPad a little bit just because um, the, they have this customer's picture on it. Okay, so as you can see, I can go ahead and press all the numbers. One, two, three, four five they're all working um, here within this on the right side of the iPad screen Okay, at this point, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm not gonna finish up the rest uh, as a tutorial, but I think you kind of get the picture on what to do. Uh, you can go ahead and, you know, peel off the, uh, the adhesive tape plastic here and get all around the iPad. And same goes onto the new screen, peel the plastic off here, right? And just kind of tape it together. And that's pretty much it. So if you see any dust on the screen, go ahead and clean it up. Um, I just hope that this video helps you at least give you guidance on what to do. Uh, but if you like the video, uh, give a thumbs up and take care. And always, until next time.